it's me, X Canada. It's this welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll and toy related videos multiple times every week. And in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new Title Secret Language dolls from Antu and Penny's Box. This is a brand new line of Chinese art BJDs, and this time they're mermaids with movable tails. I am so, so excited to get into this box and check out the dolls. But first, I want to give a huge thank you to Kika Goods for sending me these dolls for free so that I could review them for you guys. If you want more information about Kika Goods and how I'm connected to them, check the description for more information. All right. So I was not expecting this, but these come in an enormous box. And I'm very curious as to why the boxes are so big. Maybe it's because the tails are longer than I expect them to be. I am not sure. This box is gorgeous, by the way. It's got title secret language here. Then it's got some Chinese text. I'm currently learning Chinese, but I'm not here yet. Not yet. I do see several words I recognize, though. And then we've got a bunch of the dolls down here. And there is a secret one that you can see here. And the secret ones are seated 1 in 72, which is more fair than I've seen a lot of these boxes go for, but I always write off the possibility of getting the secret one. It's just not realistic to me. Um, and then one of the gorgeous mermaids is showing here. The back has different information, like this is a warning about small parts and some other stuff. And then this is the story of the dolls. It basically says that they're mermaids and they live underwater. <laughs> All right, now let's break the seal. Then the box is compromised, so Let's see, we've got, I'm so excited. Maybe we'll finally get a secret one. That would actually be unbelievable, especially with the mermaid ones. Okay, are the, the boxes are that long? Hold on, what? Look at this. For the price that these are and compared to all the other ones which come in boxes about this big, I'm really surprised. Wow, I wonder why. It must just be the tails. And you can see the other characters here, as well as the silhouette of the secret one. I think from the photos I've seen, and I've tried not to look at too many pictures, the red one is my Aww. favorite. I just think that the color of the red is quite beautiful. So, but I'm just excited to see all of these. So let's get started. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so I'm seeing pink hair in this one. Oh, it's red. Oh my gosh, we got our favorite. She was like, okay, it's my time. So now we know why the packaging is so enormous. These dolls are way bigger than I thought they were. And it's really cool because they're actually on the body that the original ones were on mostly, but the tail is just really big, which is super cool because one of my problems with a lot of mermaid designs is that the tails just are never big enough because like give her like a cool, huge fish tail and fin. And I was actually kind of worried about these having small fins just because that makes more sense for blind packaged dolls but look it's so vast i love it and by the way okay so this doll i was trying to figure out what her name was because actually on kika goods's website i love that they do this they'll translate the doll's names and most of them had names that made sense but this one said rupia huh? i don't know what that means so i looked it up in chinese and it just translated to chuan man chuan man like just a chinese like what is that so then i looked it up again rupia some kind of sea plant, maybe it's seaweed or something. Algae, I don't know. Um, anyway, so this is indeed Rupia. <laughs> uh, so that was fun. And I'm really, really curious about this because I've seen ball jointed mermaid dolls before. Uh, they've never been available on mass like this. So that's what I'm so, so excited about because I've always wanted one. They've just always been so expensive and out of reach, but this, this is a ball jointed mermaid tail. So let's see how it moves. Okay. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I was so worried the range of motion would suck, but look, okay, so that's backward. So the end of the tail, sorry, I won't go over all of them in this much detail, but I just, this is first impressions, I'm just so excited. So the tail has, or like the, the fin has way more articulation than the others because it's not on a ball joint, but it has this ball shaped joint that you can move around. I guess it's sort of like a ball joint, but it's, it's wired. Like it's, it's on a string and then a wire. And by the way, this is a strong articulated doll, so they are a little bit different than your standard articulation that you're going to be used to from Playline dolls. Um, but look at this. So you can get like a full C shape here. And then forward, you should be able... Yeah, you can do that too. I'm very curious about the sit. Hmm. We'll have to try that out when we um, turn the camera around and look a little closer. But move it side to side, which is something that you never see. Never see that in Mermaid doll. Um, other than ones that have just like a wire articulated tail. I mean, this is just so cool. So, so cool. And she's beautiful. 
but like, this is the collector's card. It's this like cool see-through. This is really, really cool. And then the outfit, I'm really, really excited to put the outfits on. We're actually going to be doing that um, in some short videos that you guys will see. So it'll be off camera and we'll just switch to looking at them up close with the outfits. But look at this really, really high quality outfit. She also has this really cute little bra that you can use instead. Um, there's also, are those wings? What are those? There's these little fin things. Oh, they go on the sides. They have hip fins. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're so perfect. Another thing, because if you don't know, I'm a, I'm a mermaid. Um, <laughs> and one of my problems with mermaid tails, um, just at large is if you're going to create a cool, like mermaid fish design and why are, why are they always so sleek? And I know it's because that's easier to make, but like I want as many fins as possible. I want to look like a zebra turkey fish. That's what I'm going for. So, or a lionfish, if you want to call it the normal name. So that is such a pleasant surprise that they actually come with these little fins. And there's also these little stickers. So I wonder what those are. And we will find out. We will find out. And then you also get some instructions, which explains about the different bodies, how to string them, and how you can share them, like the heads and different accessories with the other Antu dolls. So we'll look at that later. And yeah, so that is Rupia. <laughs> Next doll. Very, very exciting. Let's see who we got. I'm gonna close my eyes because if we do get the secret one, oh my God. I have gotten a secret one before, but it was a figure, but that was still really, really cool. Okay, one, two, three. Ooh, okay, who are you? Oh, she's so cute. She has, um, that looks like a sea creature. <laughs> a little, like, sea butterfly or something. So this character, gotta consult the list. So this character's name, I thought it translated to Dawn, but Kika Goods is translating it as Down. I'm not sure. Um, but let's check out our new friend. Oh, her tail is so cool. All of their tails are semi-transparent, by the way. I'll show you that later. Uh, wow. Ooh, her movement is a little bit smoother. By the way, if you're noticing issues with the movement and they're not moving like you see them move online or, or how you expect them to move, the string needs to probably be retied. That's that's a thing with strong dolls. Um, some people like them to be looser, some people like them to be tighter. I'm terrified to mess with the string, but it is an option. Look at this. That is so pretty. Oh, and the faces are so beautiful. She has little butterflies in her eyes. And this piece is just absolutely mind-blowing to me. So beautiful. And I love that it's three-dimensional. We'll look at it up close later. Stunning. But I will also be including close-ups so that you guys, you don't have to wait. And then the beautiful little card. I, I love this. I love this. The outfits are, oh my god, the fabrics. And I want, I want you to see how this moves. I really want to put these underwater immediately just to see how they move. Because look, like... It's such a delicate, beautiful fabric. It's actually a pretty high quality fabric, especially for this size, because it's harder to use high quality textiles for dolls often, especially tiny ones, because they're gonna be thicker, so they won't lay right on a doll. So this is just beautiful, so well chosen. Absolutely, oh my God. And the colors are so cute, the blue and pink. And then she also has hip fins, different hands. I didn't point that out on um, Rupia, but she does have them. And then this little seashell bra and some little stickies. Oh, I guess the stickies are for the seashell bra, probably. Probably. So that is down, question mark. We'll come back to that. All right, our next doll. I'm shocked that they actually fill the packaging because I really was not expecting that. I just thought that they were needlessly large packages, so I'm very pleasantly surprised. Okay. Something fell. Okay, who's this? Ooh, she has like a cool thing around her head. What is that? She's got like a big, it looks like a headband, but it's too big to be a headband. Okay, we dropped the instructions. Okay, so this character's name is Song Coral? Kong Coral? I don't know. Um, the translation has a C in it, so I'm thinking that's Song Coral, or maybe they actually translated it the way it would sound in English. I'm not sure. Anyway. She has long hair. And it's curled and it's see-through. Oh my God. Look at her tail. Also, their hands are much larger uh, than a lot of the other ones that I'm used to. And I'll bring some over to compare. I, I At least they look, oh my God, I just noticed the thin ears. These were like 
I need to meet the person who designed these because they're going to be my best friend. Like, they just get it. They just get it. And then I guess this is just like a really delicate little piece that you can dangle over her head. It is the right size, but it's so delicate. It's so cute. Oh, it goes like this, I think. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's how that sits. That is so cute. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... Of course, she comes with the same accessories as the others. She has a really tiny, cute outfit. It reminds me a lot of the most recent Centaur set. And then, oh my god. The, the product photos are so beautiful. These dolls are just so beautiful. Oh my god. Okay. So that was Song Coral? Kong Coral? Then, we've got our fourth mermaid. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Close my eyes and let's get them out of here. Let's free the mermaids. Okay. Here's the box. Okay, three, two, one. Green! Oh my god! Okay. Oh, she's got seashells on her head. So this one's name is Leaf. Somehow. It translates to something along the lines of Leaf. Oh. They have that amazing smell. Sorry, I love the smell of new toys and these have it. Oh my god. So do these... So the seashells, they're not, like, sculpted on necessarily, but they are attached. Like, you're not going to be getting those off anytime soon. And this doll is so beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Can they stand? Probably not. Oh! That is not the intention, so they definitely won't stay that way, but cool. And I love this hairstyle. She's got these two low buns. She's got braids here. She's got a braid going to bind her little fin here so cute so cute oh my god and then her outfit is yellow and green i really like all the yellow that they're using all the yellow that they're using and none of them have but like all the 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 class of colors that they're using is very beautiful it's like pastel but almost like a muted pastel you see what i'm talking about it's really pretty this green in particular is such a rare color you don't really see it and it's stunning gorgeous and then her extra accessories which we'll look at later and her instructions which are the same as all of them i don't know why i keep showing that okay next we'll open this one let's see let's see let's see okay i'm nervous okay, close my eyes close my eyes i'm the secret one looked like very different from the other ones from like the picture that i saw so i would be like what is this okay Ooh, the cutie pink one okay I saw her on the box and I was kind of like, if I do get the secret one, that's the one that's going to be missing and I'm going to be sad. But no. Okay. That's it. Look, her little unicorn horn actually poked through the bag. Yeah, that's something with a lot of, or like all of the Antu dolls and designs. They just have unicorn horns. I like it. I don't mind it, but it is interesting. And oh my god. The, the shapes in their eyes. I can't wait to get these really up close with the good lighting so that you guys can see them like on camera. Their faces are just so breathtaking. So, so beautiful. Oh, she has rose hair. Oh, wait. What's our pink girlie's name? I've got my cheat sheet. Okay, so this translates to something along the lines of Shimmer. Or Kika has just decided to name her Shimmer. I don't know. And I don't recognize the characters in her name, unfortunately, so I can't help. <laughs> and look how cute she is. I just love that the tails are semi-transparent. I think it's really, really beautiful. And the fact that it, like, varies as you go down, it gets more... It's just really beautiful. These are so well-designed and so gorgeous. And... I, you guys, if you've been watching me for a while, like, you you know, I never expected centaur dolls to ever enter my life except for the Monster High ones that they made, which are really cool. Um, but, like, when Antu released their centaur dolls, my mind was, like, boggled. Like, I couldn't believe it. And now these, these perfect, amazing mermaids, like, just from seeing the original Antu dolls, which were just these little, like, critters, they're really cute. I would never have expected them to do all of this, especially in the course of, what, like a year and a half. This line is really, really cool. Oh, that says Shen Mishur BJD. I know that. Oh my god, sorry, I just saw that. And I was like, <gasps> it means what is BJD? Beautiful. Okay, anyway, <laughs> Shimmer comes with these extra accessories. This really cute card. I love the cards. And, ooh, her outfit might have two pieces. It looks like there's a top and then some kind of skirt for underneath, but we'll see the last one it could be let's see what her name is the one with the braids which is so cute jellyfish or it could be 
Hidden Tide, or Tide would be the name. Hidden is like the class of doll. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, let's see what we got. Close my eyes. I assume you could probably tell from like the weight of the box or something because the other, the hidden one has a lot going on. I won't show her in this video just because, unless I get her, because uh, I don't want to spoil it. Anyway, something else in here. Okay. Three, two. Okay, yeah. So we got, I already forgot her name. Jellyfish. We got Jellyfish. Look at it. So cute. She's so, so cute. Sorry, I was thinking, like, if I ever get the hidden one, it's got to be the mermaid one. But, um, again, I don't really expect that to ever happen because 1 in 72 is quite... I mean, it's a decently fair seating, honestly, if you're going to have, like, a secret chase one. That's not bad. I love the hands on these dolls. And she has these cute braids hanging down. Her hair is or transparent again. And it's so pretty. She's so, so cute. Oh my gosh, and I'm noticing there's a sculpt inside that says Penny's Box, and you can kind of see it there because she's transparent like that, which is so interesting. And just look at that tail. Ooh, this one moves really good. Look at that tail. I would never, ever think that I could pose a doll like this. Oh, I just noticed they don't have the chest joint that a lot of these Chinese BJDs have. Interesting. It probably has to do with the way that the top is, but look, I always want to do poses like this with dolls, and I never can. So, so cute. There's there's a video of me getting a doll that has a super poseable body and trying to do this pose and kind of being successful, but not this successful. Oh my god. So cute. Okay, then she has her outfit, which is this really cute blue color. I'm not sure how it's going to match because this almost has like a greenish tint to it and this does not, um, but I'm sure it'll look great. And there's a little tiny pearl trim as the tried to call those handles straps on the dress and then we have the extra accessories which it's so interesting they come in these like double ziploc bags those must be like custom designed for these and then her card and the super rare deluxe shed mature bjd pamphlet <laughs> um oh my gosh that's all of them all of the ones we got now it's time to check all of that up closer Hi friends welcome to the other side so this is interesting because each of these dolls kind of comes with two outfits so first we're going to look at each of the dolls in their fabric outfits that i've already put on them and then i'm going to switch them into their kind of second look which is their more traditional mermaid look and we'll look at their articulation as well as just the base dolls from there so here is our titular character or the one on the box the jellyfish girl or jellyfish and she is so so cute also she is really fun to pose because her braids actually help her pose a lot because they kind of balance her out by touching the desk so i love that each of the dolls comes with you know the doll themselves the hair is actually removable and can be put on any of the other dolls as well as the faces actually they come with a fabric outfit which is really really cool and i wouldn't have expected that if it wasn't in the pictures uh and then they also come with a little seashell bra as well as a bunch of stickers for attaching it it looks like 10 each which they are definitely reusable, but it's really, really cool that they come with enough where they should last a very long time. And they're basically just little double-sided stickers, and they work really well. And I've already attached them, so we will be able to put them on very easily. They all also come with these really nice see-through cards. These are so, so cool. Now, ooh, look, there's even a protective covering on there. <gasps> I didn't even know that. See, that is so, so cool. It is plastic, though. It's not acrylic. And... The only thing I'll say about this, though, is that it wouldn't work in a card album if you already had one going. Like, I don't know if they still do, but Kika Goods used to sell an album for putting your art toy cards in, which I thought was so cool, but these probably wouldn't fit. But still very cool. I like them a lot. I think they'll look really cool on display. They also come with these hip fins, which can be easily attached, but unfortunately, they also come off way too easily, and we'll look at this later because they don't really work with the fabric outfits. And then each doll comes with two extra pairs of hands. Unfortunately, they're the same on each doll, but they are really, really nice hands. They are a little heart set and these kind of loose fists, just graceful little hand shape. Very, very cute. All right. Now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at the outfits and everything else. So this is Jellyfish once again, and she is one of the ones that has the see-through hair. I really, really love the matte look of the eyes, and these most Antu dolls have pretty similar faces going on, and I'll show you these in comparison with the other Antu dolls at the very end of this video, but I think that the overall look of the eyes is much prettier here. I... This one's not a good example, but the other ones all have these really cute shapes to the eye shines, and I just love it. 
and they all have these little see-through unicorn horns which look super super good her hair just look at this so it's got multiple different colors to the see-through and then there's also this painted bit up top i mean isn't that beautiful and i think that's painted on the inside i don't really know how they did that because i mean look at it so so cute and i'm gonna take off the front real quick so you can see how the ears look I love the little fin ears. They're so darling. And there's even this really nice sprayed effect where it fades with that color. It's beautiful. And they match the tails really nicely. They have little circle eyebrows and blushing. Look at the chin blushing and the cheek blushing. So cute. I love it. I love it. There is no body blushing on these, which I think this would have been the perfect opportunity to do body blushing because when you display them with just the little seashell bra on, it would really work, but it's totally, totally fine. I do not expect that at all. I think that these are very, very impressive for the price point that they are at, honestly, um, but I think I'm biased because the mermaid tail is just blowing me away. Anyway, she comes with this very, overall, very simple outfit. There's a few others that come with pretty similar ones, and it's funny because I think there's one that is more fitting of a jellyfish, so I might actually give part of it to her. I'll show you that one later, but... She just has this simple little top with, I love this beaded trim that they used for the straps. How cute is that? So, so impressive. And you can see this gathering stitch, but it's not really bothersome. I love the metallic threads that are interwoven into the fabric, and you can even see them here as well. And this area is gathered, and then it also has this really, really nice ruffly hem. I mean, look at that. The construction of these pieces, as well as the materials chosen, are incredibly impressive. Oh my god. That's so pearly and pretty. Look at the bottom of the hair. So, so cute. And then if you do want to take back pictures, just be wary that some of them are so see-through that you can see the Penny's Box copyright info underneath the hair. It is underneath the hair. Like, it's... I'll show you. It's in there. So usually that wouldn't be a problem, but because they're see-through, it can definitely be a problem. So that is something to keep in mind. Oh, I forgot to show you her little jellyfish. These don't come off, but I guess you could probably pry them off if you really tried. Um, they're so, so cute. And I do, the painted detail on that is very impressive. Anyway, for the tails, I'm not going to show you all of them in incredible detail because they're all the same, but I think they did a really good job making these not look super robotic because that's an issue with mermaid BJDs is if you want to have this high level of articulation, you kind of lose some of your realism, but I think the shape, they did this little scallop shape to it, I think it does help mask that a lot, and the fact that there's only three joints on the main part of the tail is definitely helping but it does take away from some of the movement you could probably get if there were more i love the shape here i think that is very very cute and it is basically the same on the back and these are also basically the same on the back i also really love that there's these sculpted on scales i think doing extra paintwork on these would be so so cute and then she has this fin the fin like i was talking about earlier is very interesting because these are attached to each other very snugly but this is kind of a little ball it's not a ball joint but it's ball shaped and that really adds a lot of range of motion to it which is pretty cool and you can see the sculpted detail it's just beautiful and the tail is semi-transparent but you can't really see my hand through it but the fin you can see through and it, this one in particular looks like water it's amazing it's just because of the color though they all have the same sculpt i do wish that they had had different sculpts for the fins because you can totally interchange these if you can see that little hook these are strung so you can change the tails out if you want to at least the fins i think you can also take these just all the way off too um, but that would be a lot of work. I don't recommend you do that unless you know what you're doing and know how to put them back together. Also, what's really cool is that this is like, it's hard to explain, but I could like put water in here. It's cup shaped. It, it's so layered and pretty. I love it. And then you also have this side, which is the back. Really, really cool. I just love that there's this shorter area. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I absolutely love these. I really, really love that they come with these extra fins, but I kind of wish that they had had extra fins somewhere else, like lower down the tail or maybe like a back fin or something else going on because these you can't really see with the outfits and the outfits are super cool. So I want to display them with the outfits. But honestly, when I show you them later with the little bras on, they look so good like that too. I cannot decide how I want to display them. They are just adorable either way. All right, so the next one we're going to be looking at is this one. So the one that has that cute little butterfly bow on the back, which it looks like a specific sea animal, but I've never 
I don't know what kind of animal it is. I've just seen it before. It's just this specific area really looks like it. But anyway, this is what she looks like. She also has very, very cute blushing. I wish that there were more skin tones in this line. They all look really beautiful. The blushing is gorgeous. The colors are amazing. But I think it would have really, really taken them to the absolute next level if they had had different skin tones. I think that darker skin tones... We just need more darker skin tone mermaid dolls in general. That is a huge criticism that I have with these. That's basically the only criticism I have with these, honestly. I think they're really, really amazing, gorgeous dolls. And I really, really hope if they do continue making these mermaid dolls that they will include different skin tones in the future because they've done it with their other lines. So I don't think they're opposed to doing it. So I wonder why they chose not to do it here. Anyway, this doll's eyes have that different shaped eyes shine that I was talking about earlier little butterfly shape and there's even little sparkles in the eyelashes and I love that the eyelashes are super fluffy like that it's something really cute that the Antu artwork always has so it just oh it's so so cute and her hair is matte it's very soft to the touch I don't know how to describe it it's not like soft like fuzzy but it's just smooth sleek I like it a lot and the paintwork is just incredible it, it's basically like a white base and then there's pink up top and blue on the bottom and then there's even some pink on the very bottom, on the ends of the hair. Isn't that so pretty? And then her ears also have pink painted on and she has that adorable blushing as well. Her outfit is really, really cute too. Hers is very interesting because it has that like high-low situation going on, which as much as I don't like high-low dresses, I think I'm okay with high-low dresses on mermaids. Like, I think y'all have found the loophole. I don't mind it here. Uh, I do definitely prefer the more like puffy dresses that most of the other characters have, but two of them do have high-low dresses and I think they're pretty cute. And the Velcro doesn't actually extend all the way down, so you can do some really interesting things with this, especially if you were posing with them underwater. I think this would like float up and be super pretty. Like, can you imagine something like that? So cute. So, so cute. This outfit is really, really nice too. It's super nice quality. It's gathered here. It's got that similar little top, but the thread here is less obvious because it's the same color as the top piece is. The ribbon really surprised me because it's not a satin ribbon. I don't mind, but it's, I don't know what material it is. It's very interesting. And then she has this ruffly hem, which looks fantastic, and it's actually double layered. I really love it. I wouldn't call that a hem. It's a ruffle trim. It's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And then her tail is actually very interesting compared to the others because her base tail is pink, but her fin is like a dark purple. And most of the other ones seem to be trying to match their tail to their fin. So it's quite interesting that this one doesn't. But I mean, I think it's just so, so cute. And then her accessory, in addition to her little unicorn horn, is her bow. Again, I really wish that these came off. I think that would be really cool if you could mix and match them, but I kind of understand because they're all in different places, so it probably wouldn't work anyway. But it's just this big, cool butterfly bow thing that is reminiscent of some kind of sea creature. And I love the sculpt of this. I love the way it's painted. There's this beautiful micro glitter in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it makes it look so pearly and ir like slightly iridescent. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful. And I just love how many things are transparent on these because, I mean they're going to be underwater. It's just going to look so pretty. And I mean, most people probably wouldn't put these dolls underwater, but I want to, and I probably will. And here's another look at the posing. Again, it's harder to get the ones that don't have the hair that can hold them up to actually pose, but you can pull it off. When I have the little seashell bras on them, I'll show you some more posing. There's definitely some things that the stringing is preventing me from doing when I try to pose them, like they'll snap back into their original pose. But overall, I was able to get some really, really important mermaid poses, as well as some poses I've always dreamed of doing on dolls that I've never really been able to do. So these rock. They are missing the chest joint, though. I, I kind of expected them to have a chest joint, so I'm surprised that they don't, because that just makes sense as a mermaid joint. Anyway, this is that first one that we unboxed uh, with the name that really confused me. So I think it was rupia, some kind of plant. I looked up the plant. I thought maybe it was an algae or a seaweed of some sort, but no, it's just a plant. Anyway, her dress is really, really nice. It has this tiny little star, and this isn't just a sticker and iron-on. If you look, it's hard to see, but it's actually sewn on. That is really cool and way above and beyond. They did not need to do that, but I'm so glad that they did. She has this really delicate chain with pearls on it, 
well, she has two of them. They're the straps. How cool is that? Oh my god, I really want to make these dolls custom jewelry because I feel like getting them all decked out would be just so, so cute. She has star-shaped eye shines as well as sea stars in her hair with, I guess that would have been a pearl, I'm not sure. Her unicorn horn is red and she has these cute little buns in the back as well as, I guess like a thatched part line that goes all the way back. And she's so, so cute. I love her. I really love this really bright red color with this sea foamy bluey color I think that looks really really good uh the one thing I will say though is that I don't think her dress quite matches her color scheme I really wish this dress was that blue color I think that would really really pop and be really interesting or even this yellow that they used here um but I don't I don't dislike it I don't think it doesn't work I just think like this color kind of comes out of nowhere but it's really really cute really 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 cute and then her tail is a really really nice very like cherry red she definitely has like a cherry red color scheme and I'm not used to a lot of red dolls despite like red is my one of my favorite colors I really want to see more red dolls and she does read a little bit on the pink side but she's still very like pop red and I really appreciate that I think it's awesome and yeah very very cute doll I like her a lot all right our next doll is the pink one and I already switched out her hands so she's got the little loose fist hands which are very very cute looks like a very like elegant run having your hands like this and oh my god her face and hair combo I think is actually my favorite I just think she looks so delicate and she has yellow in her color scheme which I love and also this pink color of course and look at her ears by the way they're actually pretty different from the others because most of the others have I don't know if this is intentional but look how the others just have like fading colors whereas this one has a stripe of color that fades as well that might not be intentional but I'm inclined to believe that it is intentional because it's on both ears and that would be really weird to mess up on that twice in the exact same way but it could happen I don't know unicorn horn little flower in her hair which I don't know not super beachy but very cute and then look at the hair color again this gradient that they've managed to pull off is so beautiful it's almost got that sunset look to it because this strawberry blonde to blonde to pink it's just beautiful and then look there is a shimmery darker pink painted into the little rose buns that not the cutest thing ever and then there's these tiny little pigtails for some reason just hanging out and they are actually separate pieces so you could probably do something with that if you were customizing I think these dolls would be so so fun to customize because again you can switch the hair out completely as well as the faces if you wanted a different eye color or a face from a totally different art doll like the other Antu dolls for example you can do that and there's a whole guide on how to do it I will give you a sneak peek at that I'm not gonna give you like a full rundown but I'll show it to you and then she has this super cute outfit on I think that this reads as more jellyfish than the other one because of this piece also very like mushroom I don't know it's so cute she, she kind of looks like a ballerina just because of how soft this pink is she has this pearl straps they are overall fairly simple. They match with the jellyfish character. And look at the little petals. So there's two different fabrics to the petals. There's this fabric, which matches with the top. And then this, I guess like a satin, but it's a nice satin. And they are not hemmed, but they are burned. So they shouldn't be fraying unless you really, really mess with them. And then, can you believe this piece? It's so nice. So, so cute. And you can kind of change the look of it by moving where it's holding on to the doll, which is that's pretty cute and her tail has this blush pink color and it goes into a almost more orangey pink on the fin so cute and I'm very interested in the fact that they made the tail a completely different color well not a completely different color but they clearly mixed the color of this differently from the fin but they feel like the same material so uh, it's a very interesting stylistic decision it makes the most sense on the purple girl that has the darker purple because they did two different colors but it's very interesting that they did it on everybody it does create like a very interesting look and they do try to match it by painting this area but I don't know it's just interesting anyway look how cute she is look how cute she is darling precious girl anyways moving on we have leaf the green one 
I'm always partial to green and this doll is no exception. I think her outfit is one of the more impressive ones as well. It's not my favorite outfit, but I think the the pink one is probably my favorite outfit. I really like that jellyfish look. But this outfit is actually also two pieces. This little dress piece as well as this skirt. So you could have it look fuller or you could have it kind of lay more like a nightgown like one of the characters I'll show you guys in a second and I love that she has this really really pale yellow color in her outfit it's an unusual color to see in dolls and I think it looks so cute so so cute just look how like, delicate the green and the yellow are and look at these little pearls that are sewn onto this ruffly trim up here can you believe that that is amazing. And this pleated skirt is incredible. It's one of those uh, fabric, pleated fabric, like it's already pleated. They didn't do that manually here, but I love it. I love it. And then there's this ruffly trim that they've sewn on. And this is what the little skirt looks like. And I was surprised to see that this part was hemmed. I felt like they were just going to burn the edges there. So it's really cool that they did that. And here as well just super super impressive construction very very well done on these outfits and i haven't noticed any defects really sometimes they don't close super well in the back but otherwise very very solid uh, I was a bit disappointed by her tail colors because this almost has like a spearmint look to it and then it moves into this totally different green here if you can see that um, and there's no paint to kind of help it move into that and I wish that the tail had been that yellow color because I think this minty green moving into this very pale yellow would have been really interesting but I don't hate it it's just a little jarring see that anyway her face has these little clovers oh they're not clovers duh they're seashells <laughs> she has these little seashells in her eyes her hair sculpt is very very cute as well and the yellow paint is actually sparkly it's this very very delicate glitter it's very pretty almost looks metallic and just look at the fluffy hair so cute she has green sprayed onto her ears and she has these tiny little braids in the back I'm very interested in the different hairstyles that they did. Oh, and of course these little buns, as well as these seashells in her hair. She's adorable. I like her a lot. Very, very cute. And now it's time for our last one. So our last one is the true purple. And she is beautiful. I think her hair sculpt might be... I don't think the sculpt is my favorite, but I think the overall look of the hair on the doll is probably my favorite. I love, love this one and there's like this micro glitter mixed into the resin for the hair it's really really hard to see but it's beautiful it's hard to see on camera it's easy to see in person she has of course a unicorn horn I love the distortion that's kind of created here with her eyebrow I don't know it just looks larger than it is it's cute look at her little heart eyes and the shines so cute so so cute I just love her twisted curly hair she's got blue on her ears her little nightgown looking outfit, which is also made out of that pre-pleated fabric. So cute. And she's got these sewn on pearls. Those are not ironed on buttons. Very, very nice. And I'm very glad that they did this because there were glued on accessories on the Bonnie dolls that I reviewed last. Uh, that was my last Kika Goods review that I did, if you're interested. And they were beautiful bunny dolls. They're amazing. But they had things that were just glued on that were terrible. They just fell right off. So it's really refreshing to see just the really, really high quality, impressive construction of having these individually sewn on like that. She has a ribbon um, halter. I don't know why I had trouble with that. Little ribbon halter. Just tie it in a little bow in the back. And it's also made out of that different ribbon, but it is a little bit thinner than the other one that we looked at. And... God, I love this outfit. It's got two different layers to this. Well, this one is the same fabric. I don't think it's a different piece at all, but they've ruffled it, which looks awesome. And then there's also a totally different fabric underneath that is also ruffled and they fit together really well. It looks great. The color scheme is fantastic. And I think the, synchron the synchronicity of the colors on this particular doll are probably one of the better ones in the line. There are a couple where the colors don't quite match, especially like that green one that I showed, but this one, absolutely perfect. Every color is perfect. And this is her, oh, painted on the back too. This is her tail. As you can see, it is exactly perfect. I love that it is this lighter color on the end. And no, that's not just because it is see-through. It actually has a lighter color painted on, as you can see back here. And I think that really adds a lot. So cute. So, so cute. And she also has this little crown thing. It's interesting that she's the only one that comes with an accessory like this. 
So it basically just sits. I desperately wish there was a peg on this, but I understand why they didn't do that. But look at the... So this one had the name that had coral in it. It's like Song Coral or Kong Coral or something. Kang? Kong? I don't know. Um, if it's Chinese, I'm thinking it's Song, but I don't know. Anyway, the paint detail on this, very, very impressive. You've got the pearls. You've got blue to purple. Just look at that really really cool piece and I like the way it sits a lot I think it's really interesting it looks like a little laurel or something it's really cute all right so now that we've looked at everyone I'm going to show you how to put on the little tops so I will start with her and then I'm gonna put all the other ones on off camera and then we'll come back so that you guys can see them so the outfits are all really well done because it would be pretty difficult to pull an outfit up this way or like have to remove the head every time. And all of the outfits actually have the Velcro where they fully become flat like this. You don't have to worry about them being sewn at the bottom like to make it harder to pull them up onto the doll. So that is very appreciated, very user friendly. The seashell bras look like this. How you do this is you take one of these little stickers, you stick it on, and then you should be able to easily peel off the other side. These are really well done as well. They work really well and they stick on really well. I took them off multiple times just to see and I didn't have the little stickers coming off on the doll, but even if they did, you could just pop them right off. They do not leave any residue from what I've seen, but maybe if you left them on for a long time, they could. Um, but you really just stick it on and there you go. It's on there really, really well. And isn't that cool? You don't have to have a sculpted detail that you might not want because it could interfere with outfits or maybe if you just wanted the dolls to be as they are uh but also it looks super natural it looks sculpted on and it doesn't have any kind of straps I really appreciate that I think it's awesome and then our other option for this is you again you could put on the hip fins while the dolls have their little dresses on but they wouldn't show in most of them and they would just make a weird uh situation with the dresses so I'm choosing not to do that anyway they just stick right in and unfortunately they again they come off really easily these ones are actually sticking on pretty good but they really do yeah they just pop right out so i wish that the pegs were a little bit longer but you can kind of see it so i guess that's why they didn't do that they wanted the hole to be as small as possible so that wouldn't be an issue but yeah so now i'm going to take a look at some posing and some articulation while we are here before we look at the rest of them in their little seashell tops oh by the way most of the seashell tops i think all of them have painted gradient details so hers is hard to see but it's blue and a little bit of white is on the top and it's sprayed it's very very pretty okay now for some posing so as you can see i am using her hair as a crutch because her hair really really helps so this one is not the best example but still it gives you an idea of what she can pose like so flat you can pull the tail up and it will hold its own if you're having trouble with this if your doll for some reason doesn't do this it's stringing issue you got to restring the doll somehow which you do get instructions on how to deal with the strings in here um, for the mermaids as well. I'll show you later. So anyway, you can really create like a lot of very impressive shapes. That's pretty cool. And then if we lay her forward like this, I'll show you this way. Very, very nice. You can also move this around and have like um, fold and that little fin came off. You can have it fold this way and the other way at the same time. She is being weighed down a bit. That's a thing too. They're, they're heavier than you would think they are. So this is just weighing her down. So a little bit unfortunate, but you can remedy that a little bit. Ooh, look at that. And that's with the twist as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then something I just for some reason didn't really think of when I would think of mermaid dolls like this is that they actually have really good side to side motion too as you can see, and you can really get more of that too by pulling the string out a little bit more and trying to really pry it. See? Pretty, pretty cool. And she can do that both ways. I'm going to take off the hip fins because they are going to drive me crazy. Um, that is a complaint that I have. But anyway, really, really cool underwater poses are possible, which is very cool. And again, you can do it both ways at the same time, and it doesn't snap back too easily. So you can get like that S shape, which is pretty cool. Uh, I kind of wish they had done something here. I'm not sure what they would have done, but the shape here, if you pose a certain way, is like, ah, kind of awkward looking, but 
you can usually figure out how to pose that where it won't bother. And then I think they didn't include any kind of chest joint because that would be unsightly, I guess. But I, I really wish that they did because you lose some of that posing potential by not having that. So kind of your standard mermaid pose is, you know, when Ariel's on the rocks. And I'm going to take off, well, I'll show you her like this, but she can hold this really easily because of her hair. But the other ones are not as lucky. So I'll do this one real quick. So as you can see, she can't prop herself up like that on the tail as easily. But this is a pose that I've always wanted to be able to get my dolls to hit. So it's so, so cool to actually be able to do it. Now, if they had a chest joint, it would be 10 out of 10. But this is so good. Look at that. So, so cute. And so another thing that I noticed, I was just curious about this because the Mermaid's Mermaid dolls could do this. And they actually, I don't think this is intentional. I don't think they thought of this, but maybe. They can stand like this, and they actually stand quite well. I showed it a bit earlier, and she fell over immediately, but, like, okay, well, don't shake the table. But it works pretty well, and you can also do it this way if you pose it a certain way. So you can get some really interesting kind of underwater-looking shots. They also can kneel. It doesn't work super well, but there is, like, room to make that work if you play around with it. Just, let's see. I mean, that's cute. That's cute. It looks more natural than the mermaid's dolls just having a hinge there and standing on it because that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But this this works, I think. To me, it works and I'm happy with it. So yeah, that's our kind of posing overview. You also have kind of standard for BJDs, this little arm joint situation. So there is a double joint in there and there's a string, of course. And the other side does not have the like string holes showing, so you can rotate that if you want to. And then in order to get your poses, like for example, this isn't staying, right? But if I were to pull it out and then kind of manipulate it, it will stay. Now that looks really goofy, but from most like from, from a lot of angles, you could really make that work and it adds a lot of range of motion. That is something I've been at <laughs> this one in particular, this is quite loose for some reason, but we'll just take it off. I've been trying to do that with the tail, and it doesn't work as well just because the carving isn't there for it, whereas the carving is there for the hands. But this is, like, probably the first time this company has ever touched doing this, at least on a mass-produced scale. I think this company has done some um, one-of-a-kind stuff, but I'm not sure. Not one-of-a-kind, but, like, much more limited stuff, but I'm not sure. But you can, like, click them out and do that. It is possible. It just doesn't look super graceful. Anyway. There she is. Now I'm going to put all the little seashell tops on. I'll be right back. Now everyone's got their little hip fins as well as their seashell tops on. So I will show you all of those real quick. Here is everybody. So for starters, our pink girly, who is also wearing different hands, has this little pink seashell top with, you could just see a little bit of very sheer yellow at the top. And her hip fins match exactly with her tail, which is not always the case. I'll show you. Um, but they're cute and yeah adorable also if you're curious about changing out the hands i will show you you pull the string out you hold it like this with your nail if you don't have a nail it's a little harder um then you just hook a new hand on and they don't really come unhooked unless you do all that so you don't have to worry about it and yeah new hand all right then we have leaf who has these green they're they're a similar color to the end of the tail and i think that's what's going on is some of them look different because it's matching specifically with the end of the tail i'm not sure but it is very slightly green tinged and you can only really see it if you look at it next to the table so yeah that's her little hip fin and then her seashell top is i think the base color is the green and then the yellow is painted on but it's painted on from the bottom which is different from the other ones that i'm used to and then here we have our red girly who has totally clear little fins, which I don't think this is totally clear anywhere, but it definitely looks more like it at the end. Very water looking at the end. Very, very pretty. And by the way, these I have postured differently just because you can move them wherever you want. I do wish they kind of could move outward a little bit, but I, that would be a lot of extra work to add that, and it wouldn't really add that much to the dolls, so it's fine. And hers have the exact same blue color, her uh, seashells, the exact same blue color as the hair with red 
I think the red is painted over top. I guess you can tell from the inside. Okay. Looks like it started off as red and it sprayed blue because it, you can see red underneath that. But, you know, I'm not sure. Anyway, next. We've got our purple, gir purple girly with her crown. And I really like her top. I think that, I mean, I like all of them. I think the colors are really fantastic. Um, yeah, her hip fins match her tail really nicely. It's kind of a very light very transparent purple and the top is just very pretty I love the pop of color the top gives and then this one her color scheme in general is quite different from the others she almost has like this ghostly look because of her tail but um, her fins match her tail perfectly and as you can see her top has this almost like indigo really dark blue pretty it's not really like really dark I don't know how to describe that color it's gorgeous with pink over top very very pretty and last, but certainly not least, we have our main character who I've already showed you, but still there's just a little bit of white painted on there and her fins match her big fin perfectly. So yeah, that's everybody. And for the last bit of this, I want to show you the kind of like mix and match features that these have, because not only is that advertised, but it is just in general something you can do. So they come with this big booklet. It's very big. Um, has a lot of information in it. And once again, it says Shenmusher BJD. <laughs> so that's fun. It's got a lot of info in here. So it's showing you all the different Penny's Box dolls. And I love that it's not necessarily just showing ones that you could probably still buy when these came out because most of these are discontinued. Like these are quite old at this point. I'm pretty sure they're totally like gone. You can't get them anymore. So pretty cool um that they're showing yeah you can mix and match with these uh, if you happen to already have them so they're not just trying to get you to buy more things they're actually just saying like if you have this look what you can do which i think is pretty cool so it's telling you how the different bodies work oh interesting i guess mjd is what you call like regular joints i didn't know that i kind of prefer this but you can do a lot with strung joints oh look they even sell wigs now apparently or they're just saying you can buy wigs i'm not sure I think they're saying they launched in 2021 maybe so cool and this is showing a totally different doll with one of the hair pieces from one of the centaurs and then on the back it's showing you stuff exclusively about our mermaids so shows you all the different pieces that each one comes with it shows you how to attach the bra how to put on the outfits and there's even little videos which is pretty interesting and cool how to like change the head thingy and it looks like they you kind of need to use a hook. Yeah, because it'll mess up your nails if you try to use your nails. Shows you how to change out the hair as well as the face. Then here it shows you how to do the hands. Oh, how funny. I've been doing that anyway. Like I'll use a little, I've been using a Rainbow High pencil, but that's funny that it's actually something they tell you to do. Probably use like a sewing needle or something. And yeah, so I'm going to show you real quick how they look next to other Penny's Box dolls. So this is one of the centaurs from the second series. And this is one of... This was one of the first Antu collabs that Penny's Box did. Forgot what it was called, but I will link the review of them in the description. And yeah, as you can see, they have done different skin tones before, and I hope that they do it again, because she looks beautiful. Anyway, for our mermaids, they do have very similar bodies, actually. It's just that the tails are way longer, which I really love. Um, I'm trying to get them all to stand so that you can actually tell, but the uh, this one won't stand, so I'll just put her on the right side so that my hand isn't too distracting. So. Yeah. A big difference with the faces stylistically is that the, these ones don't have the eye shines, whereas these ones do. Very cool. You need a face for it, actually. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, it's hard to do this, but I know people will screenshot this if they um, need to reference it later, so I want to make sure it's a good one. There you go. There's the different dolls. All right, so now let's switch out a face. We're not going to do this one. We're going to do these two because they have the same skin tone, and I didn't even do this on purpose, but they have the exact same color scheme, so that's kind of interesting. So this isn't going to be super mind-blowing, but I'm going to switch out the hair so that we can see what's going on with that. Does this headband come off? I didn't know that. Um, so they do have different ears, but the ears are a similar structure, so it shouldn't cause a problem. So, yeah. 
you just slide the new hair right on there. And not all um, Chinese art dolls can mix and match like this. Most of them actually can, from what I've noticed, but there will be compatibility issues sometimes. So that is something to keep in mind. Oh my God, that looks cute. Okay, so there's that. And then I will put the this hair on the centaur, which I think this is going to look really, really cute with those braids. If I can even pull this off, because the centaurs have so much extra detail going on around the necks with the big poofy outfits. And there we go. So uh, it doesn't look like we changed anything because it's the exact same color of outfit, but I swear I did. Cute. It's about to, that unicorn horn was not as prominent from the front. So um, this is another really cool option if you collect these. If you have multiple, even if you just have two, you actually have this option and you can switch out the heads as well easily. Uh, you could also switch out body parts, but uh, they're not 100% compatible. You can see that the arms are totally different lengths, the hands are different sizes, but you could still do it if you wanted to. It would just be kind of weird. And that's it for this video. I think my favorite one, maybe this one, I don't know. I'm gonna have to think on it more. Normally I have like a very distinct favorite, but this time, um, not as much. The thing with the Antu ones in particular is that they all have very, very similar faces, which I, I love the faces, I don't mind it, but it definitely makes picking a favorite a little bit harder, especially when they all have the same skin tone, a lot of them have the same eye color. Uh, so that's definitely something that is a downside if you're collecting a full set. There isn't a whole lot going on other than the color of the tails and the different accessories. I love these though. I think that these are perfect if you want to just buy one or two and just see which ones you get. I think uh, picking out a favorite that somebody else has bought and now put um, up for sale, which Kika Goods will sometimes do that. They'll put up like very specific models. Like if you want this one, you can sometimes buy them from Kika Goods. It just depends on the availability of doing something like that. Um, I really, really love these. My biggest criticism for these though is that I really, really wish that they had different skin tones. That really sucks. Again, I know that they will do it, they can do it, um, so I am very disappointed that they did not do it for this series. They really could have, they had the skin tones already. Um, but yeah, these rock. If you're interested, again, Kika Goods did send these to me for free so that I could share them with you guys. I do have a code. It doesn't earn me money, but it may incentivize them to send me future products just like these uh, so that I can review them for you guys. So it does help support the channel in that way. It's just kind of indirectly, I guess. And yeah, I'm very, very excited about these. And Kika Goods actually has other dolls like this available or coming soon. There's these dragon ones that look really, really cool. There's other mermaid ones from other um, brands. If you're not super into the faces on these or if there's things about these ones that you don't like, there's those as an option. There's these bug ones that I'm absolutely obsessed over and I really want them. I really hope I can order them soon. I want those so bad. Uh, there's like, there's just a lot of fantastic dolls coming out of these Chinese art doll companies right now. And I'm loving them so, so much. And I'm so, so grateful to Kika Goods for working with me on this. I think that they're an awesome service. When I've bought from them, I've always had a great experience. They import the items directly to you, which I think is super cool because you get them early. Because normally with a site like Kika Goods, if they were based in the US, they would have to ship to a US warehouse and then fulfill your order. But because they fulfill your order directly from China and seem to have some kind of amazing freight deal because you can get free shipping on very, very low amounts of purchasing like it's actually kind of, like very impressive and their shipping rates are pretty good if you don't qualify for the free shipping so they just i really love this service and i'm really glad that they found me so that is it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching for all this time bye oh who's your favorite and what fantasy creature do you want to see i want to see snakes i want to see snake girls i want to see ridiculously long mermaid tails that's what i want to see and I have seen that there are snake BJDs. I know that they exist, but I want like these mass produced ones. Okay, for all this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye.